It, it went into halftime. It ended. Maybe things will change for them. But for, for right now, it is the Robert Vela Sabercats over the Enric Bobcats by the score of 30-0. I'll get to Paul in a minute once again. Just to remind you, today's game is being brought to you by Cats TV 17. That is K-A-T-S Channel 17 with the live streaming, of course, done by ValleyCenter.com. So we're going to thank our people here that are making it possible. That is Gilbert Cavazos, Emily Galvan, John Gonzalez, Bruce Gutierrez, Miguel Nuno, Omar Santiago, uh, Delia Ramirez, Martin Torres, Susan Smith, and over here to our left is also, as always, Julio Camacho You're good, and Dennis. Rick Ramirez. Here we go. Take us through it, Paul. All right. Kickoff was up and out, and looks like the Sabercat kicker, uh, uh, Raymond Partida, hit and yet and deep into the end zone. It was unreturnable. Bobcats let it bounce, and it's a touchback. All right. Here we go. It's going to be first 10-10 for the Bobcats from the 25-yard line. Pablo. ¿Qué pasó? ¿Qué dicen los coaches? First give, okay. me, first give me the Bobcats side of the, of the, of the of the locker room there because they're going to get the ball first. What do we right. got to do? Let me tell you what I got. First, I got the players coming out, and I heard several of them very pumped up. It's not over. It's not over. I heard several of them. So they were really pumped up. I got it. I got it next to Coach Casares. Had to walk with him. He was really, you know, really wasn't feeling it. I said, you know, how, what's going on, Coach? How are you guys going to do? He said, we need to have a better second half. That's all he said. I didn't want to press the issue because he wasn't in the mood, as you can see, as you can tell, as you can imagine as well. A little run. A little run by the Bobcats, got out a gain of one. And, of course, we'll talk about the Sabercat uh, halftime uh, conversation with the coach a little bit later. All right, here we go. It's a pickup. Of, they're giving him two yards on the play. Ball being spotted at the 27-yard line. It'll bring up a second and eight. This is what I'm calling him, Paul. I've talked to a lot of people on the field and to some coaches, and they, they feel the same way. It's not over. The only good thing is they've seen this team give up a big lead after going into halftime with a big lead. Well, you know, the best thing for the Bobcats is they've got the ball the second half. Looks like the best thing for the Bobcats, they get the ball in the second half. Quick little pass to the left, slightly underthrown, and looks like it's going to be a third and a little bit, about seven-ish, eight-ish, as that ball was a quick pass to the left edge, and it was slightly underthrown. Paul, yes, sir. it's great. Ladies and gentlemen, again, thanks a lot for all the compliments and all the, you know, the support we get from you all. Not only uh, when we see y'all, whatever. We, I walked around the field, and there was a shout-out going out to Margie, Margie Rocha, Miss uh, Cindy Science, Aero Science, Miley, over there in the sideline, the sign. Martinez. And there was a shout-out going out to you all, and thanks for listening when you're not here at the stadium. But right now, they're joining us at the stadium, so shout-out going out to them. Also to uh, Dory, Miss Dory, Miss Dory Casares. Uh, and again, the Trevino staff, seven, seven little kid we had in kindergarten, got the fourth grade. Oh, that's how you walking yeah. around with some kids. That yeah, was cute. Seven. That was cool. That's Balboa. The Balboa's Kevin and Ken. I got you. Also, a shout out going out to everybody, all the Trevino staff at uh, Norma Linda Trevino. I hope you all are enjoying it. Saber Cats on the Blitz. A pass down the left sideline. It was slightly in the throne, or maybe the wind got a hold of it. Uh, but the Saber Cats were on the Blitz, and Harrison threw a pretty one. But again, he's thrown into the teeth of the wind. And he did have a chance, but it, the wind got a hold of it and said, no, sir. Three and out for the Bobcats. Here we go, fourth uh, and eight. And, and, Paul, I'm still going to say it. I'm, it's not over. But here we go, Bobcats. If they score before you, that it's not over. It might be changing. You're right about that, don't it? And that's not good for the Bobcats. Obviously, they needed something, some hope of life, and that's not going to work. But, uh, nonetheless, the Bobcats are going to punt. Let's see what kind of field position the Sabercats get as a result. Harrison in the back of the punt formation. Good snap. The kick is up. It's a pretty one. Probably going to be fair caught. In fact, it is. Up. Oh, there's a flag. That's going to be another flag. Two flags. They might another flag. Yep. We saw some extracurricular activity. Cannot tell, judging by the reaction of the players, the referees. Of course. Now, why do you throw his hat? Don't it? Is some bugs in the around his face or what? No. Why do you throw his hat for? No. They didn't learn on the first flag. So he says, you know what? I don't have any more flags, but I got a cap I can throw. And that's oh, that's an additional flag. His hat. He, I got you. And he's got one more. What, 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 what do you think the other one is? The bean bag. The bean bag will come flying if you give him a chance. After that, I don't know. After I that, the yeah, he, he leave the shirt off. on. Leave the shirt on. Yeah, leave your shirt on. That's another saying. <laughs> the ball is set right now at the 42-yard line. It seems to me they're going to be upsetting, but we need to wait and see what's going to happen there. But right now, ladies and gentlemen, it's a shocker in Enberg. It is. The Robert Vela over the Enric Bobcats by the score of 30-0. A little update from Donna, Texas. Oh, from, from, the, from the Falcon he here family. Here we, he, here we go. And the third quarter in Donna, Texas. It is the Enberg North Bobcats 
17, and the Donna Redskins, zero. Ooh, looks like Cougars defense taking care of business once again. And that is going to be marched off against the Vela. Uh, even though they do have the ball, they change a the field position by quite a bit. Coach Salinas upset on the call, but they're going to make a difference. They're going to go back 15 yards. So instead of starting at their 42-yard line, oh, they took them back 10. Yes. Oh, they 10. Not sure. I'm not sure what the call was. I didn't see it there. I'm sorry, ladies and gentlemen. But uh, we'll figure it out right now. For in the meantime, it's going to be first and 10 for the Robert Vela Sabercats, and they're set up at their own 32-yard line. Here we go. Sabercats break the huddle. Referees are still on the other side picking up flags. There were three flags thrown, so Ontivelo's getting laid back to it. But here we go. We're ready to go, ladies and gentlemen. First and 10 for the, for the Robert Vela Sabercats at their own 32-yard line. 11-02 left in the third quarter. Bobcats staring at two receivers left and two to the right. Lopez throws a quick pass out to the right. Out to the left. I'm sorry. He's got a block. He runs down the sideline. A nifty little run of it's, about 12. It's going back. It's oh, it's probably a hold, don't it? Uh, don't it? Oh, no, no. Reaching into his back pocket over here, a former referee. Uh, he saw that before I did. That's probably going to be holding on the Sabercats. He, they were locked in. I saw his jersey. He was being, pulling his jersey tight, and you know what that means, don't it? Yeah, you see the jersey wrinkle like mm -hmm. that, ladies and gentlemen. It makes it a lot easier for a ref and a coach not to argue. I see a holding on the near side of the field. We'll wait for the call. Here comes the call. It is going to be holding, and from the spot of the foul, so they're going to take it back from about the 36-yard line all the way back to the 26-yard line. It'll be a first and 15 for Ooh. the Sabercats. First and Redgate. <laughs> I'll go see. Yes, sir. And there's a little something going the Bobcats' way as a result of the, the, look, the, at, look, at the fans. Look, look at the fans. Look at the fans. Look at the players asking people to help out, man, because let me tell you what, ladies. You're down 30-0. You need some help. I did hear the Bob again. I heard the Bobcats players coming out at halftime. It's not over. It's not over. So they're pretty clearly pumped up. There's no quit in the Bobcats. Lopez is going to show a, going to do a fake down the right side. He's got a man open deep. Wow, great play come by Salinas. What, Sal what Salinas has been doing all night is throwing a quick hitch to either side. Again, that's the, where the receiver takes no more than a few steps and expects the ball to be delivered. This time, the quarterback pump fake to him while the running other receiver, who usually is blocking, it's busy running on the sideline. He was open, but he was overthrown. Paul, we lost. And I'm, I'm going to let the people know we just lost after halftime entertainment. A lot I know. Don't. You're going to say it. Go for it. We lost about 30% of our fans. Yeah, you're right about that. About 30%. And I'm, I'm Maybe a, they're all buying nachos. We don't know. I thought, well, no, la right. They're there giving cheese or something. Yeah, downstairs. extra cheese for free. Something, I don't something. know. If you're calling it that, good Bobcat mm. fan because you know. <laughs> it's going to be a sweep to the left. He gets turned back. Oh, and that's a ball. Ball. Bobcats at the ball at the 25 yard lines. So if you needed a break, ladies and gentlemen, the Enric Bobcats just got Christmas in October. What? See? Not even not even on the 24th. I, you know how I let my kids open one present before Christmas. This is already a flag. flag on the play. Here we go. I don't know. Well, hopefully, for the sake of a good game, an exciting game, we hope the Bobcats have a little life here. Because, in fact, it was a turnover. Let's see what the result of the flag Here is. Here comes the flag. Personal foul against, was it after the foul? Oh, we don't know. First down. Oh. Okay, so he's calling a face mask before he fumbled the ball. So it's going to give him 15 yards. So instead of it being Bobcat football at the 25-yard line, it's going to be Sabercat football not only at the 25, all the way down to the 41-yard line. Mm. And for the Sabercats, move, move those the chains. That's very unfortunate for the Bobcats. They almost had a break. Someone obviously grabbed someone's face mask, and as a result, they were not able to gain possession of the fumble. It is, the result is a first down for the Sabercats. That's got to hurt the when Bobcats. It, when it rain, it, it pours. pours. And it's pouring right now, but the rain could stop. The Bobcats are blitzing everybody, and a great time to do it, in fact, because they have a great tackle and a tackle for a loss of three. Great job by the Bobcats defense to not only attack from the middle, but from the both edges, and that play was going nowhere from the start. Very courtesy call done on a loss of three. It's going to be lost of five. Call it second and 15 ball. Once again, that's where they were at a while ago when they fumbled. Well, we'll see what happens this time. The only bad thing for the Bobcats, the clock is running, will be under 10 minutes left in the third quarter. And it's still Sabercats over the Bobcats by the score of 30 to 0. Bobcats staring at two receivers left and two receivers to the right. Lopez is in the, is in the shotgun. Motion break takes it to three receivers to the left. Oh, we have movement on the offensive line of the Sabercats. And it looks like the Bobcats are going to get another break because they're going to move them back, don't it? That's going to turn it into at least a Brewster. 
<laughs> I'm going to go good. second and Brewster football field because that's about a mile further than Lynn Samuel. Well. You that Because 18 right? miles to up there, and we're going to go 19, second and 19. All that's right. going to take it to second and Brewster football field. Paul with the call there. Second and 19 coming up. We're down to 957, ladies and gentlemen. Bobcats need something to turn here. It is second and 19, and the Sabercats are at their own 32-yard line. Bobcats said, thought they had a break about three minutes ago, but they received a, recovered a fumble, but there was a flag on the play. Bobcats staring at two receivers to the left. Uh, Lopez is going to hand off the ball to Avea. He's got a big hole at the middle. He was, another fumble. He was, we don't know. He was introduced to a Bobcat defender and caught up the ball. There's a scrum for the ball. He was still in the air. He was still in the air when it happened. And we're waiting for the call. It is looks like third down. The Sabercats recovered the ball after Fourth about a seven-yard run. He was absolutely crushed by a Bobcat defender, and the ball squirted out. But looks like the Sabercats hopped on it, and it is in fact their ball third and Redgate. Coach Salinas, and I love you know I, I love the way he coaches and everything. But as a ref, I mean Coach Salinas was inside the refs. He was further in the field. I know what you're going to say. Now that's too far, don't it? That's and he wasn't calling a little, timeout. He's uh, interfering. No, no, right now. Right now, again, to see uh, he backed off. Yeah, he better back off. He better back off, and he did. Third and 13 coming up. It's going to be a pass. Lopez is looking deep. He's got a man down the middle. If he hits him in stride, he hits him in stride. It is our Lopez to Gomez connection, and that is touchdown Sabercats. And just like that, a dagger in the soul of the Bobcats, don't it? I know your speeches, and so am I, because I cannot help but wish for the Bobcats to get something going. And that was a big play down the middle. Play action pass, ladies and gentlemen. What that means is they faked the run. The safety wasn't sure if it was, in fact, a runner or pass. Meanwhile, the receiver is getting past him, and he got open in the middle. And that is a bomb down the middle for a Lopez to Gomez connection. And just like that, don't it? 36-0. 36-0. I know. I can see it on your face. 8.55 left in the third quarter, ladies and gentlemen. Bobcats on in for a big shock. It is now... The extra point good, so make it 37 to 0. And ladies and gentlemen, I am correct. After three, two, a half, and maybe three minutes and five seconds into the third quarter, it is now the Robert Vela Sabercats 37 and the Enberg Bobcats 0. Pablo? Oh, that's got to hurt. That is a so dagger hurts. in the soul. It's not over. But I tell you what, it's not it over. hurts. You're, now you're making the call. No, it's uh, not over, doing it. I mean, okay. certainly any team. At any level, can make a comeback, but that would pretty much put be one of for the record books at this point in time. Down thirty-seven zero, but uh, so anything can happen, don't it? But we're not, we're not calling the lady yet. Not yet, but I I do see her entering the stadium. Oh, she's already got. Yes, she they're already got through her. the gate. They're letting her through the gate. She got. But they're here. saying, "Ma'am, stay back, please, ma'am, stay back." Okay. You know what I mean? They're not letting her on the track, but she's over there. Uh, but that's got to hurt, of course, for the Saber Cats. You're quite excited at, uh, with a cushy lead at 37-0. You're feeling pretty good about yourself. Bobcats are in a tremendous hold on it. Paul, the way they're set up, are they the only f team I've seen set up like that? For or? some reason, yes, sir. What we're seeing is an unusual kickoff return formation for the Bobcats. What they're doing is they are ensuring the fact that if it is a quick onside kick, they're ready. There's no harm in lining up like that because they can always adjust as the Sabercats spread out. And in fact, they did. The kick is up. This time it's going to be returnable. It is not kick very deep. He's going to return on the six. He's got a few blockers. He's going to try to go up the middle. He breaks it to the right side, cuts back to the middle, and he's still on his feet. A nifty little run. A flag Robert Zella got his eye. from the 41-yard line of the Sabercats. I saw the ref throw the flag, and the what happened happened, I'm going to tell you right now, ladies and gentlemen, 10, 20, 30 yards away. I say he threw that like a like a like a rock. Like his, his eyes like, are bigger than like, mine. Like yes, <laughs> like uh, like he's throwing something way down the end of the alley. Yeah. Like, what is that? I'm gonna throw a rock and see what moves. He launched it way down there. Face mask against the Sabercats. Uh, good. That's gonna help the Bobcats. Of course, we mean good. We're not here for either team, ladies and gentlemen. We're here to to call a game, but we do feel uh, some desperation for the Bobcats, and we do wish them to have some sort of luck. And so, if anything, that is some decent. A decent break for the Bobcats as they are moving the ball to the Bobcat 43. Ladies and gentlemen, once again, if you're just joining us, it is Paul Osbury and Don Salinas and Enberg, and I'll let you know who's bringing this to you right now. For right now, take us to the plate, Pablo. You got it. Bobcats have three receivers to the right. It's a quick hitch to the right. He hits him in stride. He had some blockers out there. That was almost a Harrison to Abregon connection. That's basically called a bubble screen. Not that there's any sort of bubble, but that's just what it's called, where one of the three receivers 
basically runs backwards to receive the ball where the other two are engaged as a blocker, and but the pass was incomplete. Second and ten coming up for the Bobcats. Ladies and gentlemen, today's game is being brought to you by Cats TV. That is K-A-T-S channel 17, which is being streamed by valleycentral.com. There's nothing wrong with your, with your computer, ladies and gentlemen. The game is being brought to you, of course, by Cats TV and streamed by valleycentral.com. Great time for a screen as the Sabercats were blitzing a whole lot of folks. Uh, very hard uh, catch and run by Jimenez, a little screen. Uh, he probably could have avoided that defender. And instead, he elected to just ram him. And as a result, he allowed the defender to make a good tackle. Lost him half a yard. Call it third and ten and a half for the Bobcats. Here we go. We're down to 8-19, 8-18. And counting, ladies and gentlemen, in the third quarter, Bobcats must get something going. They're still down 37-0. That is to the Sabercats. Clearly some frustration on the uh, part of Jimenez because he probably could have just made a little juke and got some more yards. And he elected to go for the hit. And it resulted in a tackle. He's being pressured. Hilton's Hilton being pressured. He throws out to the right. It's got to get out of bounds. The referee's going to give him a little bit of credit for that. Basically, Harrison was pressured. He had nowhere to go. He ran backwards and to his right and launched the ball as far as he could to the sideline, hoping to get at least an incomplete pass instead of a sack. And it is fourth and 11. Pablo, as a defensive coordinator there, are you in heaven and just saying, let's just go after him? They need to pass the ball. Of course, because they're in des- their Bobcats uh, are in desperation mode. So, you know, you can you can uh, go ahead and eliminate about half of the play calls. You know, they're going to. The Bobcats are in a bind, so everybody in everybody in the stadium knows what kind of you know they're going to have to pass, etc. So Sabercats, it's they see blood and they're going for the kill. So it's 7:57 left in the quarter, and we're losing another five percent of our fans. I see them going, don't it? Bobcats in punt formation. Harrison's back, surveying the situation. Up back has gotten the signal. He lets the center know. Good snap. They came for the block. The Sabercats are very aggressive tonight. It takes a no, nobody, a no. You know, no, uh, no, no favorite on yeah, the bounce. Yeah, no one got a fa- no one got favorite either way. Ball just basically hopped a few yards. It's gonna be Vela's ball on the 34. 34 yard line mm-hmm. for Robert Vela. It's gonna be the second time they touched the ball. The Bobcats have touched the ball twice. They did pick up one first down, and I'm gonna let you know that was on a penalty. Other than that, uh, they've been flagged one time for 15 yards. That was a big one when they should have had a fumble. It should have been first and 10 from the. Sabercat 25 yard line, nevertheless, there was a flag. Thank so, you. again, it is first and <clears throat> 10 for the Sabercats. They're at the 34 yard line. Bob gets a turn two receivers to the left and one to the right, and he hands it off to his tailback. That's going to be Rivea. Nothing doing. And just like we were talking about the playbook for the Bobcats, vice versa, the Sabercats, their playbook is wide open because they can do anything they want. They're not backed into a hole, but that was a run to the time to go to the left side. Rivea was stopped. For a no game. 7.30 left in the, game, in, in, in the third quarter, Paul, and that's a big one. The clock is running. It is second and 10 from the 34-yard line for the Sabercats. They're going from the south to the north, ladies and gentlemen. Bob Ketcher staring at two receivers to the left and the right. They jump off sides. That's an automatic free play for the Sabercats, and they air it up, and he hits. You know who in stride. He never went out of bounds. And I'm Touchdown, not, he, Sabercats. Oh, he, I, just, I didn't have the heart to yell it, Donut. So with 7-11 left in the third quarter, they come up. We got hats. We got flags. We got shirts. We got beanbags. Tennis shoes. Todo. Todo on the field. Let's wait and see. It's going to take a while to clean it up. So, ladies and gentlemen, for right now, as it stands, it is now. They haven't even put up the points. Let's wait to see what's going to happen here, ladies and gentlemen. Let me see if I can explain the play. What happened was the Bobcats were clearly blitzing on both sides by two particular linebackers. They jumped off sides, and Vela, as we've seen all year, automatically knows they have a free play. That's a go route, automatic go route for the receivers. But well, they're coming back, so I don't know if it was a free play, Paul, but continue, please. I'm sorry. Well, to. that's okay because it doesn't matter, don't it, because they're bringing it back. So it doesn't matter because they're bringing it back. <laughs> <laughs> well, wait Why talk about a play that never existed? Here comes a call, ladies and gentlemen. Here comes a call. I think it's going to take him a while. Yeah, the second on the second page we have foul zone zone zone. Here we go. Oh. Why they stand standing over here? Oh my gosh, that's like he's running up about five points. The other hat, the other hat, the beanbag. And the two flags. Okay, so let me finish describing the play, don't it? Because it did, in fact, did happen. Uh, again, offside, automatic free play for the Sabercats. And he aired up as everybody's got a design go route. Why not? It's a free play. 
caught the ball, tippy toe down the sideline for a big bomb touchdown. A gazillion penalties, and they're going to give him credit for a touchdown, but they're probably going to move back on the kickoff. And there's Salinas, ladies and gentlemen. He wants to know why are you going to take 15 yards away from me? So I can't. <laughs> You're up 43. You're to up 100 to nothing. Come on, Salinas. Give him a break, brother. <laughs> Here we go, ladies and gentlemen. We got an update from Donna. What do we got? We got an update from the Falcon family and both. Ida, Ramiro, the tailgate crew, the main Get in a little Cougars. Edinburgh North Cougars, 25. Donna Redskins, zero. zero. Wow. Cougars taking care of business tonight. Ida, Paul, let me tell you what. They got the number one defense. They have a real good Only one team, one team has scored on. We're looking right at them. And we're looking at the Bobcats. Yes, sir. They did, in fact, get 10 points on the Cougars. The kick is up. It is a, not a pretty one, but doesn't matter. Because it is good, and it absolutely nailed the camera that the coaches use, and I don't think that camera's going to be working anymore. <laughs> so make it now. <laughs> Hit that thing. With 7 11. Yeah, he's bringing it down. He's going to check it out. 7 11 left in the third quarter, ladies and gentlemen. It is a shocker in Edinburgh. It is a Robert Vela Sabercats 44, and the Edinburgh Bobcats 0. We're just watching the replay over here. If you're going to watch it later tonight, Cast TV does a great job. Uh, showed the replay of the uh, the touchdown, uh, tippy-toe down the sideline. Here it is again. Bobcat jumping off sides. Free play. Why not? Airs it up. And he catches on tippy-toe, a missed tackle, and he tippy-toes into the end zone for another Sabercat Michael touchdown. Michael is on the catch. Hey, we got a little shout-out, Bob. Here we go. What's up? Ready? What you got? To Imagine that. Who you got? We got to the Cam Camacho family. Oh, yeah? To the Camacho family. Uh, they're, in, they're listening to the game. Dad will be home soon. Love you guys. Oh. Hey, Julio. Awesome. Julio. Julio wants dinner when he gets home or something. Porque está está saludando. Yeah, he already yeah. Okay, love you guys. Mm, get the tortillas uh, warmed up, baby. Something, something. Yeah, you got to love that, man. It's going to be a long one. Nothing like good family, baby. Hey, good job, Julio, again. Camacho family. Hope you're enjoying it. Thank you for tuning in. Again, it's, it's great to hear you guys uh, enjoying the game. Uh, we're bringing you the most lopsided game we've done, Paul, this year. By the score of 44-0 right now, ladies and gentlemen, it's been all Sabercats, Bobcats. And, you know, and I'm talking to the coaches next door, Paul, and it, it's sh I'm in shock. I said, Coach Cats, I don't know what to say. I don't know what to say. And uh, other coach comes in and he says, hey, I've been on both sides of the field. And it's one of these games where you so badly, so badly want to win and want to play your best, and you get just – get hit so you don't know what to do well they got hit all right and the ball is up it is kicked off and goes to the end zone once again look, again look, they have look, to win their back they're lucky they didn't roll back into the one or something they get it well modern day uh, uh, uh play call is that they don't even bother making anybody feel that once it goes in the end zone usually that's as a result of safety purposes they automatically rule that a touchback as it went into the end zone and it's going to be bobcat's ball with not very much energy certainly not i don't feel the electricity from the fans uh, but there's still some time. You can do something, don't it? Yeah, excuse me there, Paul. I'm going to interrupt a little bit here and do a little shout-out for my my family and thank Valley Central for me being able to connect with my mom. My sister's taking care of her. My mom going to surgery on Sunday morning, Pablo. She's oh. in Harlingen. She's in Harlingen, but she's hearing it right now. So, Mommy, we love you. Uh, hope everything goes well. Hope to see you at home real soon. I'll be there Sunday, and hopefully everything's going to go fine. So, from Donut, Edith, Kayla, and Kyra, your daughters, and all the family, which is about... 38 of us, Mom. Uh, we love you, and get well soon, and we'll see you at home. Dad, everything will be fine, Daddy. I'm going to go in a little back out of the backfield catch in the flats. Again, of no more than about four. Again, back out of the backfield means he was lined up by the quarterback and sprinted into the flats, flats meaning the short area to the left end of the right side of the quarterback, and he catches the ball and goes out of bounds. Stops the clock, but after a nifty gain of four. Bobcats got, are totally spread out. Three receivers left, two receivers to the right. It's going to be a run. Nothing doing. There is a flag. It It's probably going to be more than likely. I, I don't even know. But all I know is we see yet another flag. Bobcats were trying to run on that particular play. It might have been a free play, but they weren't expecting it. They didn't get it. We have a timeout on the field. We got an official timeout. Pablo, a little shout out going out to a friend of mine, Dolly. Dolly, yes. Did it, did it. Beethoven, lady. don't worry, Beethoven. I will see you tomorrow. <laughs> Beethoven. <laughs> Beethoven, you're going to get some water in that bowl. Don't worry, buddy. <laughs> There you go. Let's <laughs> talk to Dolly and, and Paul Osbury. Y'all have a great weekend, man. I hope you all enjoy it. Yes, sir. We will be on right the road. right now, ladies and gentlemen, it is seven minutes left in the third quarter. It is second, and they're going to move it five yards. It's, it'll be on my second. And, oh, oh, my God. 
Bobcat. Oh, my God. It's a penalty against the Bobcats. When against it rains, the it pours. Bobcats, and when it so pours, it floods. And it is, in fact, flooding. Instead of a second, a third, and two, it's going to be a third and nine yes, coming sir. up for the Bobcats. And here we go. Start the clock. We're under seven minutes, ladies and gentlemen, left in the third quarter. It is still Sabercats 44, Bobcat 0. Harrison and Jimenez in the back, in the backfield. Harrison's asking for the ball. The Sabercats going to blitz. It's going to be a free play, but he doesn't have time to get it off. As, in fact, the Sabercats uh, blitz. Now, they should have stopped that play because that's a free ride to the quarterback. Either way, it's going to be offsides on the Sabercats, and the Bobcats try to do the same thing, which is an automatic go route, but for the fact the Sabercats blitzed so hard, quarterback did not have time to throw it, but it's going to be a penalty. Offsides against the Sabre guys. That's the call. Paul was right. So move the ball five yards, make it a third and four coming up for the Bobcats. Ladies and gentlemen, it's, it's right now Robert Bella, Sabre Cats 44, Bobcats 0. Pablo, two down territory? or No, it's too, no yeah, it's too much. It's too far, Don't You're right about that. Uh, I mean, you know. Oh, look at that. Okay. Let's move them up a little bit. That makes yeah. it a little, easy, a little easy, easy decision right there. Run it twice. Vamanos. Oh, they need to get something. They do need a first down. You need, love to, to, you need to do this. Yes, I was going to say, Donut, I'd love to say our usual saying. Oh, okay. What happened, ladies and gentlemen, was. Well, did he catch up on the neutral zone? Well, you know that if it makes the offensive lineman uh, uh, bounce up as a result of the potential rush, they're going to call it on the defense. But probably the right call should be against the defense. Let's find out, ladies and gentlemen. Well, wait and see what's And there is the call offside in the Sabre. What happened was the Sabre Cat defender jumped forward, and it caused the offensive lineman of the Bobcats to react. So and they're not going to. Yes, sir. They're not going to penalize the offensive lineman because all he's doing was reacting. That's a safety, uh, uh, really, for purpose of safety. That rule was introduced a couple years ago, and as a result, it is offsides. Sabre so cats. they needed four. They got five. So and for the Bobcats, move the those chains. Bobcats get a little life here with a first down with 6:45 left in the third quarter. It's still Sabre Cats 44, Bobcats zero. Out go Jimenez in the shotgun along with Harrison. He's got time. He's got a man open in the flats. He makes the catch. For a nifty little gain of about eight. Pick up of eight yards. Call it second and two coming up there quickly at the 43-yard line. That is their own 43-yard line. Pablo. Yes, sir. You're up 44 Are you giving away those eight yards? Yeah, yes, yeah, sir. Well, okay. no. I, I, We're not giving them, but at least a little cushion. Sabre Cats have no change in the game plan. I was observing that. As far as their defense, there's no change in their game plan. Uh, they are in a a cover two, which means they're expe oh, they're rolling into a cover three. I'll explain what that is in a minute. It is a quick dive. Cover two means there are basically four secondary guys. Cover three means a strong safety is up in linebacker depth. And what they were, they were in a cover two, and they rolled their strong safety up to try to disguise their coverage. Again, Coach Salinas is absolutely just going for the kill on this one, ladies and gentlemen. Third and two coming up for the Bobcats. Pablo, yeah, we've been sending shout-out to Arizona, to a friend of ours, and he's in the house? Uh, in La Casa, in the house. He's here right now. Right here. Who's here? Dan Roma, <laughs> former principal. We had been giving a few shout-outs out there in Arizona as he is back in town. And the Sabercats blitz. There's a fumble. Please, Bobcats, get on the ball. Okay, he's going to come down or in the grass. I'm not sure. Hmm. Coach is upset over there. Uh, the referee made that call. Before the pl bottom line is the ref made the call. It's the right I think call. It's the right call. 44-0. <sighs> yeah. What we're saying, ladies and gentlemen, was – it probably should have been the result of a fumble by the Harrison. He was still, he was still trying yes, to Yes, but the referee said, look, hey, let's just let him punt it, guys. Let's go. I mean, Run uh, the clock. Yeah, yeah. So as a result, it's going to be fourth and long. And the Bobcats, Harrison in the back, about ready to punt. Snap is up. It's a good snap. He's going to get it off. He gets it away. A wobbly kick down the middle. It's going to be returned by the Sabercats. He goes to his left. He doesn't have much room. He gets outside. He's got a blocker. He's going to be going down the sideline. Out of bounds on the 45. And that hit was unnecessary, uh, Donut. Bring it back. 15. Yes, the Sabercat player is asking why, in a situation like this, Donut, you need to take control of the game. What you don't need is players taking cheap shots or blocks that are not necessary. And that's what happened. Good job by the refs to try to gain control of this game. Hey, I love the way Coach Salinas coaches, but I'm going to ask him, Coach. He's got it. He's got to take the dogs off. He's got to take his dogs off. You, you live on the field. You you live too much on the field. I think so. I mean, I, I'm just saying, watch out, man, because you're gonna get some refs that are not gonna appreciate. I think that. I know you're talking about Donut. You know, it's a former referee. I know what you're yeah, saying. That Coach okay. Salinas is still being a little overly aggressive. Uh, you know, props to him as a coach, but 44 to zero. As a result, players can get hurt, 
And, uh, you know, you can look at it two different ways, ladies and gentlemen. We are choosing to look at it in the way of let's no. just let's just go ahead and throw it down no, a little no, bit. Again, I'm, I'm putting how they said, like, my foot in my mouth because I said last year. I said, I said last year. I said last year. I said, oh, they hey, pounded him. They pounded him. Ladies and gentlemen, believe me, what goes around comes around. Be careful. With the, mm -hmm. Be careful with the way you beat these Sabercats because they're only going to get better. You're playing against 120 and 150 pound freshmen. Yep. And they're going to get come back. So, I mean, again, ladies and gentlemen, it, it, it's hard. And, and the best thing about it is we're not coaches. All. I mean, Paul's a coach and, and, a, and, a, and an athletic director at, at one of our schools here. But as far as, you know, being down on the sidelines for this kind of season or this kind of game, is the uh, best thing about it is, is we're not involved with it. But I mean, all we do is commentate on it. But it's got to be tough, man. And you, and you got to kind of see – Michael's side, as far as, hey, they did it to us last year. Well, look for Salinas to keep his foot on the gas. That's just his style. Right or wrong, he's going to have his foot on the gas, I guarantee you, as the Sabercats are acting as if they have no idea they're up 44-0. Oh. Okay, they're going and they're explaining the penalty, which we already talked about, which is unsportsmanlike conduct. In other words, a hit that was unnecessary, was not needed, and they moved them back. So it looks like Sabercats ball on the 38th. And again, look for the Sabercats to keep their foot on the gas pedal, don't it? Here we go. First and 10 coming up for the uh, Sabercats. They're at their own 39-yard line. Shotgun. It's going to be a run up the uh, – they're basically on the right side. Nothing doing. Maybe a gain of one. And the Bobcat. this is going to be on the Bobcats. I can see a mile away, don't it? The Bobcats must stay composed because that's going to be a penalty on the Bobcats. I don't know why they did that. They did not have to. Uh, but, you know, emotions are really high, and that's why refs make calls like that. That's going to be with the Bobcast on it. Yeah. It's going to be the gentleman. Is he getting kicked out? No. Nope. Or someone foul. Bobcats. So now, again, one more time for the Sabercats. We're going to move, move those down. chains. It is a result of the penalty. It's first down. Uh, at this point, coaches need to do a good job talking to their kids. Emotions are running high. That is just reality. But you have to maintain control of your kids as we all want to display the best sportsmanship possible. Even though it is 44-0, I understand. Uh, you've got to control your kids. You've got to play the game and play it correctly. And play yes, sir, you do. The, with the rules. So it's going to pick him up, give him up a first down, move the ball all the way down to the Bobcat. 45-yard line, first and 10 for the Sabercats. Bobcat blitz it up the middle. He's going to keep it. He's going to roll out pass. Lopez is looking. He's rolling out right, looking for a man. It's going to be intercepted. Bobcats. The Bobcats have some life. And that's what you get, ladies and gentlemen, for having your foot on the gas. Sometimes you run out the road, and uh, Bob, it looks like, Sabercats have given up the ball to the Bobcats and have given them, if you want to call it, some life some or life. some light. Bobcat football, ladies and gentlemen, they get an interception at the 42-yard line. That might be the best field position the Bobcats have had all night long. So with 407 left in the third quarter, still the Sabercats 44, Bobcats 0. But the Bobcats get a turnover and get an interception, and we'll see what they can do right now. For right now, it's going to be first and 10 for the Bobcats. They're at their own. 42-yard line. Paul, take it away, Paul. You got it. Bobcats have three receivers to the right and one to the left. You got Harrison in the shotgun. Yes, we're watching the replay on our monitor up here. Harrison in the Senator shotgun. Well, that's the one on no, sir, don't it. It is going to be a run up the gut. He fumbles the ball. We're going to see who comes up with it. But it was a fumble. Second down. Second down coming up Phew. for the Bobcats. That was Elijah Reyna getting the game. And a little antsy with the ball. He received a handoff from Harrison and did not feel it clearly. And the ball scoop popped forward, but it bounced right back to his chest. And good news for the Bobcats that they still have the ball. A gain of four. If you're just joining us, we're giving you updates from the Edinburgh North. That's the other school. Congratulations going out to the Jags. They won last night here in Edinburgh. The Cougars right now over the Donald Redskins by the score of 25 to 0. Good job, Cougars. Bobcats have completely spread out. Three receivers to the right and two to the left. It's going to be a pass. He's going to be blitzed. He throws it up. And it's a good, it's a very good pass. It was through the hands of the Bobcat uh, wide receiver. It was a timing play, basically a 10 yard stop route. And it was thrown on time. But the Bobcat was able, the Bobcat player was unable to make the grab. Third and six coming up for the Bobcats again. Bobcats are trying to get some life in this game. It's been all Sabercats, ladies and gentlemen, all night long. Right now we still stand with the Sabercats over the Bobcats by the score of 44 to 0. Pablo, third and six coming up. Take us to it. You got it, it. is at the 46 yard line. Here we go. Harrison in the backfield alongside. Uh, uh, Tony uh, Domingo Alvarez. It's going to be a pass. He's got time. He's got a man open in the flats. And he did not make the catch. 
Uh, bottom line was it was thrown to about a 10-yard stop route. The right receiver runs about 10 yards and stops, and hopefully the quarterback throws it on time. And maybe it's a little bit late because of the Sabercat defender was able to get an arm in there. And as a result, it looks like the Bobcats are going to have to settle for a punt. Although Harrison, their punter and quarterback, is coming out. Looks like they're going to let the kicker, for some reason, they're letting uh, Christophe Martinez take care of the punting at this point in time. And the Bobcats are going to punt. Pablo, let's talk a little about, I'm going to pick up, I'm going to take out some schedules here. And I'm going to find out. Coach Casa knows what he's got up to, knows what he's going to be up against. And he told me, don't know, what's going to happen is if we lose tonight, we're not only going to be able to lose only one more game. We're going to need a lot of help. So that's going to be on the Bobcat side of as far as what can happen. Uh, the ball came about to the 30-yard line after that punt, so the Sabercats are going to take over. So, Pablo, let's let's look at what we have left for, right, for the for the Vela Sabercats. Okay, they 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 came and they won the first district game against uh, La Jolla. Okay, all right, and then they won there. They they lost to Economides, then they beat Lincoln Juarez. Now they're beating the Bobcats, and they had won one before. They already have four victories in the year. They have three in district. 100% uptick from last year. Bobcats are staring at two receivers to the left. Lopez in the shotgun. Look for the Sabercats to keep their foot on the gas. That's just the style of Coach Salinas. A run up the gut. Maybe to the left side, a gain of about three. That's, in fact, what it was. A gain of about three. Rivella on a run uh, to the left side over the left tackle for a gain of three. And true to their colors, the Sabercats have no idea. It is 44-0, and they are not even choosing to huddle. They're going quick, no huddle, and they are receiving instructions from the sideline, and they're changing their formation to basically... Strong right and two receivers, really three receivers to the right, which is short side of the field, and it's very wide open to the wide side of the field. Lopez is asking for the ball. It's going to be another dive to Rivera. He stumbles forward for a nifty gain of another four. Make that third and dose. Pablo. Get get us. Palm you. Get the us. I mean, Palm you. I'm sorry. Sabercats. Huh? Sabercats. You know who they have left? Who they have left? Donna. Okay. Cougars. Mm. Sherry Lamb. Oh, tough. Okay. Two very <laughs> tough three. ones. They're going to get tested right there. Three yeah. games. You win one and you beat uh, Palm View, I think they're in the playoffs. Third and three. Bob catcher turn two receivers to the left. Lopez in the shotgun. Snap is up. It's going to be a pass. It's a quick one to the right side. A timing route. Did he, he miss the catch? Did he catch that? Yeah, you're going to give him credit for the catch. That's a basically a five-yard stop and go. Or actually, a stop route, which means he runs five yards, don't it? You need he three? Stops. You need three, you get five. five. So move, move those chains. chains. Once again, we're moving the chains. 151 left. We'll start the clock. They start the clock. That's the best thing for the Bobcats right now because it is still Robert Vela over the Bobcats, 44-0. to zero. Once again, Paul Osbury, Donna Salina, we're coming to you live from Edinburgh, Texas, Edinburgh Cats Stadium, Matrix Field. Sa Sabre Cats have their foot on the gas pedal. Here's a little run to Rivea up the middle. Nothing doing as the Bobcats stuffed that run. A no gainer for Rivera up the middle. Up the middle. Second and ten coming up. Still the ball set up at the 42, 43. Call it the 42, 42 and a half yard line for the Sabercats. Pablo, these guys went 0 and 10 last year as freshmen. A few sophomores, maybe one or two seniors. They're coming back as sophomores. They are already going to go 4 and 2 in the season. That's right. You can pretty much give them credit for the victory tonight, ladies and gentlemen. Even though there's a whole other quarter left, uh, I don't think anyone's coming back from 44-0. It is going to be another run to Rivera, and he scoots and scats maybe for two up the left side of the offensive line, and it's going to be fourth and eight, and look for the Sabercats to punt. All right, it's going to be third down. Third, I'm third, sorry. Th third, third and eight, third and eight coming, coming up. Bob. Thank you, Donut. Third and eight coming up, ladies and gentlemen. We're under 39 seconds. We'll have to run, run more play because they started the play clock. So at least one more play in this quarter before it comes to an end. And it's something I'm hoping and I'm pretty sure the Bobcats want this whole night to come to an end unless things change for a big drastic change here comes up. But for right now, it's going to be, we're down to 21 seconds, 20 seconds. Here you go. Third and eight coming up. Salinas has all the starters still in the game. He's airing it up. He overthrows his receiver to the left side. That's a good thing because it would have been a first down. But as a result of the overthrow, it is going to be fourth down. Again, Salinas leaving all of his starters in the game. He has no idea. Apparently, it is 44-0. to zero. 
All right, here we go, ladies and gentlemen. It'll stop the clock. We're going to have at least one, maybe two more plays, uh, depending on how long this, this punt goes for. For right now, it's 14 seconds left in the third quarter. It is all Sabercats. Penalty on the play. Better. You cannot have all those guys. You, you know what's going on back there. The 65 guy on the offensive Yeah, side? yeah I'm going to 65 guys in the huddle, and, and okay, about no. uh, 40 of them leave in the sideline. You can't do that, don't you? No. It's going to have a legal substitute. We're going to have a guy leaving the huddle. Not only to run for an, uh, an option, he ran to go get water. <laughs> no, you can't do that, don't you? You can't do that. A little shout-out going out to Luis Gonzalez and all his family who's been joining us uh, last night. They joined us on, on, on Valley Central. They joined us last week, and today they were on the field. That's the, the family I was saying hi to over there. So, Luis Gonzalez, to you and your family, thanks for joining us, and we hope. Pablo, you know what? <laughs> there was a, I'm going to tell you, man. He... He asked his boys, hey, I have an old friend of mine, Donut. He said, hey, don't be that, I'm in boring. We heard him the other day, but it wasn't us, thank God, because oh. they tuned in. They tuned we in. can't be boring, though. Yeah, yeah, we're kidding. <laughs> 44 zero, it might get boring, but no, no hey, hey, thanks for the support. And then they said, oh, yeah, no, those guys are good, Dad. So, anyway, Gonzalez family, thank you very much for your support. Nifty little punt to the right side, takes a saber cat hop, and in fact, going to go out for no return, going to pin the Bobcats way back. Uh, at the 14-yard line, don't it? Yep, that's what it is, ladies and gentlemen. Four seconds left. We're going to have one more play in the, in the third quarter, ladies and gentlemen. Pablo, Give us a, I threw stats out. Yeah, uh, no, I stopped keeping them, don't it? And a little yeah. shout-out to the chain crew, uh, Eddie and his son on the chain crew over there. When we say drop them chains, move those chains, those are some friends of mine. As a matter of fact, they were both referees at my game last Tuesday. Enriquez yes. in the house. Eddie Enriquez and his son, the chain crew, father and son crew. Hey, I, uh, saw him, to those I, guys. I saw him over there, Paul. I was, hey, what's going on? He goes, that hurts, Donut. Yeah. Of course, he's the ex-Bobcat uh, quarterback there. Enriquez, uh, two years ago, or I think maybe last year. No, two years ago. Okay. Yeah. So, again, ladies and gentlemen, thanks to all you people who are tuning in and hearing us on ValleyCentral.com. And, of course, you watch us because of Cats TV 17. That is K-A-T-S Channel 17. They pick up three yards on the play. Ball is going to come up with a second and seven to start the fourth quarter of this game, ladies and gentlemen. You're not hearing us wrong. You're not, your ears are okay. Don't worry. Not only are you not watching us, but uh, you're hearing us right. Don't worry about the audio. There's no mistake there. It is right now. Robert Vela, Sabre Cats, 44, and the Enric Bobcats, 0. And, ladies and gentlemen, it's a shocker. It is a shocker, certainly if you're a Bobcat fan. Of course, if you're a Vela fan, it's a shocker, but in a good way for the Bobcats, knowing the tradition of the Bobcats and knowing how these guys always try to find a way to come back. They're apparently not finding a way to come back tonight. That last play was a little nifty run by Domingo Alvarez for a gain of about three. Look for the Bobcats to have a second and seven pinned back in their own red zone. After this play, Bob, we're going to go with a little shout-out. And then I'm telling you, these people really enjoy the, the what they watch. I want to know who's bringing it to them. There's a whole crew, cast and crew up here, ladies and gentlemen. They do a great job, and they're bringing this beautiful picture that you were about to see later tonight if you want to watch the replay. Harrison in the shotgun. Two receivers right, two receivers left. Looks like Sabercats are blitzing out the edge. They're pressuring Harrison. He hits his man on the sideline. Good catch and grab for a first down. A pickup of college 16 yards for the Bobcats. Move those chains. Hey, Pablo, let me tell you what. This thing comes to you today. is being brought to you by Cast TV 17. That is K-A-T-S, channel 17, with the streaming done by ValleyCentral.com. Again, Gilbert Cavazos, Emily Calvan, John Gonzalez, Bruce Gutierrez, Miguel Nino, and Omar Santiago. These are High school kids, Pablo. Look at the job they're doing, man. Dr. Julio Camacho, Rick Ramirez, uh, Delia Ramirez, Martin uh, Torres, and Susan Smith. Woo! That's the thing that's bringing it to you. Thanks, guys. Hey, that's what I'm talking about. Hey, it looks like, wow, somehow Harrison was pressured in the backfield, and he was about to be sacked, and he did elected to run up the middle. Why, might as well. And he, in fact, gave him a gain of about three. All right, call it second and seven coming up. Ladies and gentlemen, we're under 11 and a half minutes left in this ball game. And, uh, ladies and gentlemen, it's been all Sabercats. Now what the Bobcats are going to have to do is what they did last year, win four in a row and hope for some help. They did it last year, Pablo. They did it last year. They were close. Here you go, Bobcats. Two receivers right, two receivers to the left. Here's in the shotgun. Is asking for the ball. He has time. He throws it to the sideline. He basically threw it away, do not he? Yeah, yeah. Uh, you saw the ball come out, and he kind of yeah. he didn't want to take a chance of it getting picked and going down the other way for six points. I, I call that a good pass. Yes, and what Donut and I are talking about, Harrison was going to throw the ball. At the moment of his release, he realized that the Vela defender, it had it been an accurate throw, he probably would have been a pick six. 
So basically, in a millisecond, he changed the flight of the ball and basically threw it away. <laughs> What'd you call me in a who? A millisecond. Well, so. Mm hmm. Is it Pablo? In other words, a very quick decision done it. Here we go. Third and six coming up. Hey, he's in the shotgun. Harrison does have his man. It sails over his head. He tried very hard to have a Garcia, Harrison to Garcia connection, but it sailed over his head. And it is going to be fourth and six. And it looks like the Bobcats are going to punt the ball. And you can see that there is no wind in their sails, don't it? Ay, ay, ay. Hey, we talked about a boring game. You know, it gets to that point. But again, ladies and gentlemen, please understand there will be a, an Edinburgh school, an ECISD school winning tonight. Two schools with the Cougars hopefully will win over there. And one of these two Edinburgh schools is going to win here at home. So here we go. Fourth and six coming up. There's the punt. The punt is up. It's a, little, a pretty high punt. Fair catch. He lets it go. Very good decision by the Sabercat returner. What happened was he was acting for the fair catch. He uh, misjudged the ball. And instead of come back to try to catch it, he said, you know what? We'll get the ball anyway. I might as well just get away. Yeah, Pablo, and we got time right now. And once again, ladies and gentlemen, we did it about six or seven times uh, yesterday. But it, it's got to be, I mean, you got to be proud of what I'm about to talk about. And that is to let everybody know the Edinburgh CISD Board of Trustees has been awarded the prestigious Texas Outstanding School Board of the Year by the Texas Association of School Administrators and School Board Awards Committee in Dallas. That means the TASA, TASB Awards Program recognized for Outstanding Texas School Boards for the commitment to their school children and their community. Once again, I'll introduce the board to you in a minute. Take us to the plate, Paul. Yes, sir. Sabercats. One machine to the left, one machine to the right. Left his hand out to Rivea. He goes up the middle. He's got a little bit of daylight. And that's a gain of about two. And about what you're going to talk about, I did say hello to board member Robert Pena down there on the sideline. And he did acknowledge he really appreciated doing it, us giving him props up there when they were hanging out in Austin. And I gave him a hug, said, you guys are doing a great job. Yeah, and that's going to be including President Juan Sani Palacios, Vice President Dr. Martin Castillo, our board secretary, Jaime Arsolis, and members as followed. Jaime R. Chavana, Carmen Gonzalez, Robert Pena Jr., and David Torres. Bob Castillo, one machine left to the right, one to the right. There's going to be some movement that's going to probably be on the offense because they did not let the play develop. That's usually on the offense. We're at zero also, but it is going to be moving against the Sabercats, so it's going to be taken back five yards instead of second and seven. Call it a second and 12 coming up, and hopefully they're going to run the clock. Here go, Tiberos, make the call. Come on, you know the deal. Nobody's going to mind if he run the clock. No, he didn't. He did not. He started the play clock, no, but not oh, the he's, game clock. He's asking the question. There, there he is. There he goes. That's what you want to see. Get well, the right he call. Got, he looked at Joey, and I said, can yeah, I run it? Nah, Joey nah, says, yes. mind, go for it. Vale, vámonos. It's like old school basketball when one team's losing badly. You tell you, check the coaches. Do you mind if we just run the clock? And that's the right thing to do, ladies and gentlemen. That's a nifty little pass to the sideline. Again, Sabercats have their foot on the gas pedal continually, and that is a good little catch and run for a gain of about seven on the left side if you're going from the north to the south. Hold on, one more question. Is, is the lady that went over in the stadium? Yes, and, and the lady has entered the house. She, yeah, she's singing into the mic, but they tell you, we're plugging in in a minute, but she's already warming up. Even me, though there's plenty of time me, 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 La, 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 la. <laughs> Here we go. I guarantee you, she sings better than me. <laughs> I'll put money on that one. Here we go. Third and six coming up there at the 39 yard line. Pablo. Yes, sir. Sabercat foot on the gas pedal as it's going to be a pass. He's being pressured. He scatters out. He's going to run down the sideline for a first down. That is incredible. A great play by Tristan Gomez. Again, Sabercats have their foot on the gas pedal. It was a pass play, and he was pressured, and he rolls out to the left and gets a first down. So for the Sabercats, one more time. Move, Move those chains. chains. He needed seven. He picked up nine, making another first down for the Sabercats. Ball is at the 46-yard line. We're under seven, 23 left in the ball game. Ontiveros, do me a flavor. Run the clock, brother. Andale. We'll wait and see here, ladies and gentlemen. Again, special thanks going out to ValleyCentral.com, of course, for bringing this to you all. And, of course, that bringing it to you on audio because you know who does the video. The who does the video here, Pablo? Cats TV in the house. All right. Here we go. Quarterback keeper on the left side. He's got a block and great coaching because, as you realize, the reason he probably could have, should have, could have, would have got a bounce, but he stayed in bounds because the Silver Cats have been coached so well they have told him to stay in bounds to not stop the clock. But, I mean, to run the clock. Uh, good job by the Sabercats, and we all want the clock to run, ladies and gentlemen. Pablo, and, yes, sir. A little shout out to a good friend of mine, Paul, Paul Osbury. Then on safe trip. 
Uh, gracias. We are uh, Dolly, special lady of mine. Her couple of her kids and my kids are traveling to Bernie this week and hang out with my sister Carol Osbury. Hey, Carol. My brother Robert Osbury. And we're going to have ourselves a barbecue tomorrow evening. You can count on that. All right. I'll take care of Beethoven and Akana Casa. Mm, gracias. All right. Here we go. Second and one coming up. And Bobcats are blitzing and they run it up the gut. It's a good time to run because they were blitzing off the edge. And he's still on his feet. The 20, the 15, the 10, the 5. I'm not even going to yell it. I'm just going to call it touchdown. Touchdown, Sabercats. And we got to, hey, ladies and gentlemen, mm. please understand. Please understand that it's only right. It's only right. It could be the other way around. We got to let you know that the Sabercats have discord and the same style we do for all the schools. So, once again, here we go, Pablo. Touchdown, Sabercats. See, I, I didn't have my heart in that one. Well, 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 it's kind of hard, but we have to. There's a flag on the field. I'm going to that touchdown, Pablo. No wonder it wasn't in your heart. Okay, because it wasn't look, meant to be. Look who's at the numbers. Look, look, mira. mira. Uh, Coach Salinas, he's a fighter, okay? It, 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 I'll I'm, give him that. I'll give it to him. I'll give it to him, don't it? Okay, me too. The kids are feeding. Uh, look, at this point in time, in my opinion, it's, it's, it's a show. It's, he's telling the kids, I will fight tooth and nail to the last second. And the kids are feeding off his energy. And you see the result. They're going to go to 4-1. Uh, again, he still has his foot on the gas pedal, don't it? But I will give props. To Coach Salinas for keeping their motor running hot. Here we go. It's going to be a flag from the spot of the flag. They're going to bring him back 10 yards. It was thrown at about the 20 or oh, 15 yards. No, they put the, okay, ball will come all the way back to the 43 yard line. So take away those six points, and it'll be a first and 10. They did get the first down, uh, and but it, they're going to bring it back all yeah. the way back to the 43 yard line. So it'll be first and 10 for the Sabercats. Uh, from the 43-yard line, we are down to 8.25 left in this ballgame. Come on, clock. Keep on moving. Bobcats standing two receivers to the right and one to the left. Quarterback Lopez hands out the ball up the gut to the same gentleman who just ran it in a minute ago, and that is uh, Anthony Adedondo holding on the ball with both hands. Again, well coached up the gut for about a gain of five. Make it second and five. He's won four Four more games than he did all year last year, and he still has four to go. Yes, sir. Obviously, Coach Salinas turned it around very quickly. He's he's a very experienced coach. No need to rattle off the long list of his coaching accomplishments and where he's been, but I can tell you he has coached at a very high level. And here it looks like the Sabercats have their foot on the gas pedal as they throw a bomb down the right side. <laughs> they had just their foot on the gas pedal, don't it? I mean... Wow. Uh, it is what it is, and it is was that, but That's a backup quarterback, no? Yes, sir, it is. Yes, sir, they have Tristan Gomez airing it up down the sideline, basically a go route. I think what happened there, Donut, was the Bobcats jumped off sides, but they were not caught. And just instinctively, Vela's been, been beaten to the head. You better do the go route if it's a free play. But it wasn't because they got back in time. Pablo, we, so. we haven't called the name. Whose name have we not called? And we did uh, look. Look at Salinas. Look at Salinas. <laughs> what are you saying, it's, ladies and gentlemen? It's like the kids, man. Like in, when they saw that movie Selena, and they see the kid, uh, Salinas. And Salinas is out on the field, and he wants to know. Uh, you know what? And I do. I, I I have to err on the side of his aggressiveness, don't it? Uh, hey, give, there's nothing wrong with it. Yes, yeah, give credit to Coach Salinas because the kids feed. Because uh, what he, right now, what he's doing, don't it? Hey, he's like, preparing for the playoffs. Se arrancó el headset y todo, and he ran in the yes. field. Yes. Hey, Here we go, ladies and gentlemen. It's going to be a legal procedure against uh, the Sabercats. Bring them back five. So a third and six just became a third and 11 coming up for the Sabercats. Bring them back to about the 43, 44-yard line of the Bobcats. Here we go, ladies and gentlemen. We're down to 746. And on Tiberos, but no, it was incomplete. We can't start the clock. Mm, I know. But they should run it anyway. Why not? There we go. Looks like the Sabercats have their gas foot on the gas pedal yet again. Two shoes right, two shoes left. It's going to be a run. Oh, a quick pass up the middle. He catches the ball. One block, and he's going to give himself a first down. And in fact, he does. And he runs out of bounds. Oh, he stayed in bounds. He stayed in bounds. They Even stopped. if he did, run the clock, please. Well, they're going to stop it maybe to move the chains, but uh, Ontivero saying the right thing. Never stopped it. Run the clock. Run it. Run it. Come on, run the clock. Leo, run the clock, Leo. Sabercats, foot on the gas pedal. What happened was that is a quick screen to the left. Good. I heard that. I did hear the thump. We just saw a little young girl in Glacier K fell in front of us. I literally heard the thump. That's a tough little girl because 
most other kids would be crying their butt off. You think she's tough? She's a bobcat? She's wearing boots and shorts. <laughs> and a quarterback keeper. He breaks free. He's going up the middle. Oh, he gave it out at the last minute, Paul. What do you call that play? Oh, that's a read, a read option. A read option. Yes, in other words, of course, the, what the read option means is the quarterback has the option once he reads the outside linebacker, he studies his reaction, and if he approaches or attacks the running back, he keeps it, and if, he, and if he's hesitant, he gives it to the running back. And he can give it in front of him. He gave it to him. He, was already, he decides to give it to no, him. He, he, the running back as is long holding as the behind. ball. They're both holding the ball, by the way, don't Okay, you? okay. As long as he's behind. No, you game. know, that's all. Like basically a, a technically a forward pass. He can do that if he wants. Yeah. Okay, here we go. Pick up the first down. So one more time for the Sabercats. Move, Move those, those chains. chains. First and 10 from the 14-yard line Sabercats. for the Sabercats. Sabercats threatening and keeping their foot on the gas pedal, and he's going to hand up the ball going to the right side up the middle. He breaks up to the middle and jukes and jives for a first down and they're going to move, move those chains, chains and then they're going to drop them chains. chains. Yeah, it hurts to say it but we got to say it because we are impartial ladies and gentlemen. It, again like Donut said it could be the other way. We could be saying first down Bobcats and drop them chains and do whatever to the chains but it is the Sabercats driving with their foot on the gas pedal. I know what you're saying, don't it? Don't it give me a signal here. Get your foot it's off like the, the backseat driver. Hey, slow down, honey. Slow down. Please slow down. Slow down. One day, it's okay, it's okay. Ponle Cruz control. Yeah. And, and <laughs> gas pedal. A dive up the middle. He gets hit and stuffed a gain of two. He gets halfway to the end zone. And imagine a good wife saying, honey, por favor, slow down. No, honey, I got it, I got it. We, we all went to taking his foot off the gas pedal, but true to his style, uh, right or wrong, Coach Salinas is trying to score, and he's very close to doing that as it is a second and two. Not not for the first down, but second and goal with two to go. Paul, we're down about 30% of our fans. But, and again, ladies and gentlemen, you got to understand, it. it's frustrating. It's getting worse and worse. It might get worse in about eight seconds. We'll wait and see. Here we go. All right, snap is on his head. Break for the Bobcats as the quarterback gets the ball and curls up. And that is a definite break for the Bobcats. Yes, sir. You get you get new people. You get new personnel in there. Look at Salinas pissed off. <laughs> Salinas. God. What are you doing? Coach Salinas. He is fighting. He's out oh on the field. God. Oh, my God. Ladies and gentlemen. Don't hey, it. He's getting ready for the playoff, don't it? I see it very clearly. Oh, he's getting ready for sure. We both, we both have coached at that, at that level, and I can tell you what he's doing. It's a speech. It's, it's, it's all show for his kids. And his kids are saying, you will stick by my side and you will fight, period. I do got to give him credit because I can tell you right now that, the, that Coach Salinas is getting them psychologically ready for the playoffs. What you call me? Psychologically. You know? Look at Coach. <laughs> oh my God, ladies and gentlemen! And again, let me tell you what—he's gonna get. He better get ready, cause Coach Salinas. We got Donna, we got Sherry Land, and we got the Cougars in the house within four weeks. Where's Sue? And, and ladies and gentlemen, let me see if I can explain about Coach Salinas. In my opinion, what he's doing—it's not that he's trying to rub it in with the Bobcats. What he's doing is he's keeping their motor running hot. And in my opinion. By, by his body language and how he keeps running on the field and fighting for every inch and every every yard and every inch. It's what he's doing is he's he's getting the players psychologically ready for a tough game. This is not a tough game. He's, he's saying to them, you keep your head in the game. You keep fighting until the fight is done. So I got to give him props. I got to, don't it? I got to. Hey, Paul, let me tell you, though, the next he, – he's going to win today. He's here again. Next Friday, con los Redskins. Mm, that's going to be a good one. It's going to be it to me because the Redskins are getting whooped tonight. They uh, are. But they ran into a machine in the Cougar, undefeated Cougars. Yeah, so it should be a good one next week. If they win, they're in the playoffs next week. That's, yes. That's, uh, imagine what he's getting ready for, ladies and gentlemen. We're trying to explain that. Looks like Vela has a foot on the gas pedal, a pass right up the middle, even though he was thrown in very long. It is a touchdown, Sabercats. And look for Vela to go up at this point, 50-0 to zero with the extra point to come. And Vela continues to have their foot on the gas pedal. The Bobcat coaches look to me like they're standing at the other sideline saying, can you please stop this? Because yeah. apparently the Bobcat what, defense What cannot. happened to all these new, what were they, checkpoints? Or, or no, they're, 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 I was trying to find what is 20 miles away. I was going uh, <laughs> to I was gonna say, first in, first in Capadona Ranch. <laughs> Uh, but now it is touchdown for the Sabercats. Hey, Pablo, you know what I mean? All these, this new that uh, the uh, checkpoints that they're putting everywhere, all over the look. 
another flag against the Bobcats? Yes, there's a tremendous law enforcement presence. Uh, out they can't there. run into one of those to slow him down right now, stop him, and check uh, him out. No, he's not. He's not breaking any rule. You know, he's not okay. speeding. Let him he, go. He's, he, if speed limit is 55, he's going 55. Uh, yeah, go to yeah. 45, cruise control. No, sir, he's at 55, don't it? Ladies and gentlemen. In a 55 zone. And we, we, we're just trying to, you know, keep you entertained here because we're, we're down to about 8% of our fans. <laughs> because, you know, it just can I mean, when it rained, it poured. And, like, I was talking to, to some of the coaches at halftime for the Bobcats here in the press box. He says he's been on both sides of the field. And, ladies and gentlemen, that's what we're trying to explain to you all that, you know, it happens and it's going to happen. And, Pablo, I'm going to stick around to see them shake hands. All right. I am not because I'm going to be on the road immediately. Once oh, you game. can't stay and give me a ride? You need a ride, don't it? You did not tell me. <laughs> aye, aye, aye. Don't, I'll give you a ride if you're going to Bernie, brother. Because <laughs> I'm headed to Bernie, Texas uh, no, I'm with joking, my future Paul. family. I'm joking, Paul. I'm joking, Paul. Here we go. I got my truck. I was just seeing if you were going to wait all around and see. But well, you don't. I'll wait for you all night, brother, if I had to. I know you would. That's I know right. You would. No, thank you, Paul. But I'm just giving you a hard time there. But um, I'll, I'll have a good time tomorrow with Beethoven and the eggs. And the Beethoven and Spartacus with his little, his big old little gray beard. <laughs> <laughs> Spartacus. Ay, yeah, yeah. Here we go, ladies and gentlemen. Once again, it's Paul Osbury, El Payaso, y Dona Salinas aquí in Enberg. And we're bringing you the Friday night football from Enberg. Right now, uh, the Bobcat just got hit again with a 15-yarder. So... The, the Sabercats are kicking off from the Bobcat 45-yard line. Will he try and put it through the post? He can for the fun of it. It's not going to count, but they won't go he's taking it into the wheel. They won't go outside kick? They better not. Okay. No? No, they're not you going to be done. No. He's going to pound it into the end zone. Why not? Here we go. We'll wait and see. Here comes the kickoff, ladies and gentlemen. And boom, the kick is up, and he, in fact, does crush it through the end zone. It's going to be a touchback. And a little extra curricular. there. Settle down, guys. Yep, it's going to continue, I guarantee you. But we'll wait and see what the final is going to be for right now, ladies and gentlemen. Paul Osbury, Don Salinas, ValleyCenter.com, Cat CB 17, KATS Channel 17 are bringing you action. High school football from Edinburgh, Texas, Edinburgh Cat Stadium. 503 left in tonight's contest, and it's been all Sabercats right now. Robert Vela, Sabercats 51, and the Edinburgh Bobcats 0. But you know what? Robert Vela, I know you're still happy, man. You're a Bobcat, you know, till, like Ms. Vela said, Robert, uh, Coach Vela, till you, those were your last words, man, go Bobcats. So, uh, but mm. at the same time, your Bobcats are not doing too well, Coach Vela. But you know what? Who's winning? Vela. Vela. That's right. I hear <laughs> she, what you're she, she said it better than anybody else. So, uh, Ms. Vela, you're right. He's, he is smiling tonight. And, and in one way or another, uh, Coach Vela, you know, we miss you, man, and, uh, uh, you know, you're in better hands than we are. So, once again, a shout-out going out to Coach Vela from uh, Dominga, myself, and Paul. Uh, I talked to her at halftime, I mean, at halftime, Paul, and she's, you know, it's tough, man. It's tough, but she says it, it, it makes her feel good when we talk about it once in a while. Here we go. Pick up of nine yards. Second and one coming up for the Bobcats. That was a Harrison to Jimenez, a quick play. A dive up the middle, nipped a little run. There's apparently no quitting the Bobcats as the Sabercats are playing very soft on defense. Okay, Paul, you're a coach. You're the Bobcat coach right now. Do you want that goose egg off the scoreboard? You do. Yes, you do. Okay. Okay. Just, I mean, hey, are you getting mad at me? First and second. <laughs> First and I'm second. sorry. I'm in you, you, put me, you put me in the shoes of the Bobcat coach. And all right. I, I, I got right. to get, get pissed off. Because right. I'm go. down 51-0. to zero. You're blank right. I'm going <laughs> to try to score at least. And, in fact, the Bobcats have now put their foot on the gas pedal. And they're going to do play action pass. He's got a little bit of time. He's going to open the field. A oh. great, if he gave it, ooh, he did not catch it. Uh, again, that was almost a Harrison to Alonzo connection in the middle, but he did not make the grab second and ten. Second at Edinburgh Airport. Second and ten coming up. It is 4.06. The clock will stop with an incomplete pass. We're down to 4.06, ladies and gentlemen, and it's still Sabercats over the Bobcats. No, no, I'm sorry. I, I, I got, I got mad first. I'm really not mad at you, but I just, you know, as a coach, I, woo, my motor runs <laughs> hey, hot it's part of the well. game. It's part of the game, Pablo, no problem. Here we go, second and ten. Bobcats handing out the ball. We're sweet for that corner. It's going to keep it at the middle. Harrison up the gut. 
for a nifty little run, and the Bobcats are going to move, move those chains. chains. Yeah. And let's go, Bobcats. Bobcats suddenly, life. Bobcats suddenly we're champion for the Bobcats, and I can't, I'm not afraid to say it because we want to have just a little something, a little taste of something. I want to hear that. There we go. Da, 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 da. Parate, Pablo. Here we go. Okay. 350. Remember, remember, ladies and gentlemen. Member? 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 You member? member? A member of the band. No, member is in we member. Here we go. <laughs> 342 left, ladies and gentlemen. Julio, you want Bobcats to score? Julio! Come on! Come on, Bobcats. Hey. A quick pass to the right. He's got one block. He's got a little bit of room. Get to the outside. He does. He makes a move. I and that's know. another first down. And the Bobcats are going to move those, those chains. chains. Bobcats getting some live with 329 left. And counting, Pablo, the guy didn't even stop the clock. He said, run it. Mm. Well, you know, if they're going to run it at seven minutes, they might as well keep running it at three and a half minutes. You know what I mean, yeah. First and ten for the Bobcats. They're at the 35-yard line. That is of the Sabercats. Is this the deepest they've gone on their ter territory? You know, you know Sabercat coaches, they, they don't want any points given, man. No, no there's, there's clearly, <laughs> clearly Coach Salinas. If you're going to take him on, you're asking for a fight. And it's a run up the middle, nothing doing uh, other than a gain of two. That was Tony, uh, I'm sorry, Domingo Alvarez on the keeper, a Harrison de Alvarez handoff up the middle for a gain of two. We're under three minutes, ladies and gentlemen. Second and nine coming up for the Bobcats. They're at the 34-yard line of the Sabercats. All right, Bobcats, no huddle. Two receivers to the left, two receivers to the right. Harrison with Dominguez in the backfield. Harrison asking for the ball. The Sabercats are blitzing, and it's a good time because they throw it out there to Abregon. He makes a move, and he gets back outside. A nifty little run. It looks pretty, but it only resulted in about a gain of a yard. Three yards. Give him three yards, Bobby. You're going to give him three? Siempre, we're wow, at the 30. We're at the 30. We're at the 30. They were at the 35. We're at the 31. Está bueno. Three okay. yards. So it's going to be third <laughs> and six coming up for the Bobcats. We're under 215 left, ladies and gentlemen, in this ball game. And Bobcats... Hey, that's the Bobcat pride. This is the pride little Bobcat. Gee. Hey, you're beating me 51-0, but I might be able to score six or seven points. And, in fact, the Bobcats are trying. They have split uh, twins to the left, end of the right. Harrison the shotgun. He has time. He's got a man wide open, and he makes the grab. He does make the catch. Oh, he does not. He, in fact, did not make the catch. He was open, and we don't know if it was a result of the defender. A bottom line is it was not a catch. I thought maybe he had it in the end zone, and I don't know if he's hurt as much as maybe his feelings are hurt. Well, he wanted the ball really. Bad. I'm sorry, don't it. I mean that well. I mean it well because he wanted it very badly. Yeah, and he, he almost came out with a, a right down at about the goal line, make it the one yard line, but the ball came out. A uh, referee said no catch. Here we go. It's gonna be fourth and six. Fourth and your ball game right here, ladies and gentlemen. You better take a knee if they don't get a first down, right? Yes, we hope they do, don't it? Uh, we just hope they do. Hey, Paul, I love putting you in those spots. <laughs> uh, <'cause, laughs> don't it? If you're asking me, and I am the coach, I am on. I have the habit of punting on first down. That's how much I do not believe in running the score as a coach. Oh, we put it on first. You, you we put it on first down twice last week, uh, this past week, don't it? Yes. On first down, you get in the ball back. Automatic. And I even the defense was not expecting it. And I told the coach, Coach, we're going to punt. Move your guy back. They were like, what? Yes. Well, everybody, wait, wait. We're going to punt, coach. Get ready to return the punt. To give him a chance, don't it? I don't believe I'm going to have to score on anybody. I'm going to have to shake your hand on that. Well, we punted twice. You know what? These, these, these kids are just kids. Thank you. And we punted especially, twice. Especially, first yeah, especially, especially at your great level. And I don't believe in it. Though. We won 21 to 0, and I gave my players strict orders. I don't care what happens. Nobody, you better score. If you get a fumble or an interception, you better hit the ground. Okay, good job there, Paul. Here we go, first and 10 for the Sabercats. We get down to 149 left. And, in fact, they're not needing the ball. They are running the ball, and they're running up the gut for a gain of three. We are looking at each other in amazement. And as much as I admire Coach Salinas' aggression, at this point I say he should kneel the ball because at this point players may get injured. There's no need to do it. I say that respectfully to Coach Salinas from afar up here in the booth, uh, but... Let's go ahead and end this game. Well, then, coach, you, can, coach, and another, no huddle. To another, do. another side, coach. We got nothing but clean jerseys on the field, so these kids might never get a chance to play again this year. So. Uh, yes, but what you don't want 
is anybody getting hurt, and you don't want another score, and you don't want players losing their, their temper. I, I understand. I am going to err on the side of let's avoid any potential injury, and let's kneel it so we can go home. Yeah, we're under one minute, ladies and gentlemen. It's a third and call it seven coming up for the uh, third and 79. Don't it, what I want you to look at is I want you to look at the exchange, the handshake between the coaches. Watch that one. So you think there is going to be an answer? I, I just watch it. As I will is not there, watch it, I want you to let me know next week how it goes. No, I'll call you. Oh, right, you let me know. When you're by Loves or I in San Manuel, you'll yes, have to call. Yes, I'll be past the checkpoint, and you're going to say, Pablo, this is what happened, and you tell me. Okay. Here we go, ladies and gentlemen. Third and seven coming up for the Sabercats. A handoff to the far side. Pablo. He runs up to the line, and he scampers for about 15. That is incredibly a first down for the Sabercats with 20 seconds to go. With 20 seconds to go, 21. They should not run another play. Pablo, for the last time tonight, we're going to move, move those, those chains, chains, and the Sabercats are going no huddle. Amazingly, they are set up for another play with the clock run down at 18, 17. The Sabercats are going to try to get another play in, and I and I give, give you the exact same look, don't it? I do not understand it. No, you cannot. You cannot. Okay, they're going to let the clock run. The game is over, Donut. You take it from here, brother. All Good right, night from Paul Osberg. Good night. From Paul Osberg and Donut Salinas here in Edinburgh. Once again, a shocker, a big shocker. That is from Edinburgh, Bobca Edinburgh Bobcats with a score of zero. And the Robert Vela Sabercats, 51. Once again, ladies and gentlemen, it's going to be valleycentral.com. And, of course, everything being brought to you by Cats TV 17. So from Cats TV 17, that is KATS Channel 17, and uh, valleycentral.com, Paul Osbury, Don Salinas, the uh, high school uh, crew here, also Rick, uh, Rick Lamides, uh Julio Camacho, uh, Martin Torres, uh, Delia uh, Lamides, and uh, Susan Smith. Once again, Paul Osbury, Don Salinas saying, good night, everybody. I hope you enjoyed it.